Hello, wonderful people. My name is Janessa. I am the owner of Gina Glow Enterprise and welcome back to another Artful Monday. So for Art for Monday today, we are going to be looking at a photography book um, that talks and kind of glances through spas. So I'm going to show you the book right now. So this book I end up getting, this book I end up getting at Eaton Center. So Eaton Center is a really large mall for those who don't know. It's located um, in downtown Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and they have an Indigo there. So Indigo is also another, um, I believe it's, it's, it is a Canadian company. Yes, it is a Canadian company. Indigo is basically uh, just a l really large franchise of book, um, selling books, kind of like um, Barnes and Nobles, kind of um, large bookstore. It's a franchise. So as I was there, usually when I go to these kind of bookstores, there's kind of two sections, main ones, not all the time, but it's either I go into the manga slash comic book section, or I go straight to make a beeline towards the art or photography books. So this time I went straight to the art slash photography books. And I was, I was there, I saw obviously this book. Now, what caught my eye about this book, not, not only because I really like the cover, because it was sealed, I couldn't open it at the time, but what really caught my eye was the price of it. So the price of it was about 20, between 23, $25 Canadian. And as you can see, like this book, like it's a hardcover and the amount of pages for a hardcover like this usually is not going to be 23 bucks unless it's on discount or on sale. So at first I thought, okay, maybe it's on sale or maybe it's not, maybe it's not, um, marked properly. Cause it wasn't just like, you don't see, I couldn't see the inside. It only had like a little sticker on it. So, which is why I made the assumption that maybe it's discounted. So I found out, no, that's the full price. And even online, if you decide to purchase or go to other places, it's going to be around that same price. So this is actually a very interesting, um, fact around that, um, as to why it's, um, reasonably cheap um for the price and the quality of the book so we are going to take a look at this um book about spas talk about um the that fact about why it's priced the way it is but either way with that being said let's take a look inside together all right let's get right into it now shall we so as the book's title shows it is about spas so you'll see um as i'm flipping through the book that there are different types of spas that they talk about throughout the book um, from each continent. Um, you'll see the different types of pictures and the different locations and where they are. If, if anything, you would like to look at the pictures better and there's a bit of censorship. Yes, I did that on purpose because I'm not about to get in trouble with YouTube, all right? Um, so better to be safe than sorry. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so as you can see, um, within the book, it really kind of shows different types of photography of the different spas. So one thing I really like um, about this book is you get to see the similarities of spa resorts, um, hotels, but you can also see very much the differences uh, in between the spas. So as you can see, there is a di slight difference in the ones in Asia, the ones in Africa, the ones in Europe, Oceania. There's still some main foundations, but um, definitely you will see the difference throughout. So the um, the publisher, um, Teshen, um, just to talk a little bit about him. So in 18, no, sorry, in 1980, uh, he was about 18 years old when he opened up his very first shop. Um, from his native Cologne, Germany, to market um, the massive uh, comic book collection that he had and to share with others. Um, however, he only started beginning to publish around a year after, but it wasn't until eight, sorry, I keep saying 18, until nine, 1984 that his first art book breakthrough occurred. So at that time, he purchased over 40,000 copies from a particular of a particular book, and he was able to republish them at a fraction of the price. So from a young age, um, Benedict um, Teshin was very passionate about um, art books and just with art in general. But he did notice that it was quite expensive and 
like if you've watched my previous video, which you should totally look at, the Vincent Van Gogh Im um, Immersion Exhibit, that one cost a little over 80 bucks, right? So to have this book that is really thick and hardcover only around, like I said, between 23 to 25 bucks is really something. So that is what was Benedict, Benedict Teshen's, um that's one of the things he really wanted to do with his um with his publication so that the art would be more accessible to those who maybe did not have the money right at least to make it more affordable for others to have it so definitely what he would do um he would have um as you can see that he does have a hardcover but it still isn't with a high quality but it's not thick so i think that so i can definitely see why his um books are slightly cheaper but just because they're slightly cheaper it doesn't lessen the quality right because at the end of the day you just want to enjoy the art but it's also great to have a hardcover book um, because hardcover books last longer than um, paperback books right and that's one of the reasons why art books really do attract because it's it's made to survive it's made to to be kept for a very long time right one thing I really like with this book is that when it shows the different resorts or hotels or spas, that they actually show more than one picture instead of just having one picture and moving on that sometimes you might see in a magazine. So it does give you uh, different perspectives. And another thing that I really enjoyed with this book is when you, if you pause the video, you'll see on the very first page that on each um on each spa, they have, as you can see on the page right here, it's not just a bunch of text. Each paragraph is basically the same, but it's just translated into different languages. So the first part is English, and the second part, I believe, is German. And the very last paragraph, I'm going to guess and say that is French. You may not be able to see the bottom, but at the very bottom, of each introduction of a spa. They actually have the address of the spa, phone number, email address, the website, which is really great because sometimes, um, let's say you have no idea, right? This is your, this is the first time maybe you're wanting to, wanting to understand spas and where to go. So if you have this book as your resort, it's really nice that they actually included the addresses and the websites and the telephone number because it's another great way of um, promoting the spas right all across the world oh, like i said overall i did enjoy this book however i would say for crit critique or at least something that maybe they could have added is i i'm not going to lie maybe i'm just biased <laughs> but they i felt like they could have done a much better job with the caribbean uh if you notice in the table of contents there's only two only two um places that they mentioned in the Caribbean when there's so many amazing different spas in the Caribbean that you can mention um, it would have been really good if they even mentioned um, some of these spas that were maybe locally owned not to say that there there aren't any in this book but it'd be, it would have been really awesome to see if they had more hotels more spas more um, resorts that were mainly owned by the locals in the area maybe that's something i can do in the future to to speak about but like i said i know not all of these are owned like by a bigger company but it would have been nice if they showed a little bit more of that but i do like i said i like the way that they mentioned with the small paragraph it's short and sweet and to the point um but yeah i would say definitely um some continents had more attention than others and that's completely fine i just wish that they had a little bit more hotels and spas and resorts for you know the Caribbean for uh, Oceania and Africa I think they definitely could have put a few more but like like I said overall I would say for the price and for the contents that is within this book this book is definitely worth the money definitely um when Te um Teshen created his publication for it to be more accessible and affordable to people that maybe overall can't wouldn't can't or wouldn't buy 
um, really expensive art books, this is definitely a great uh, thing to have. If you're just somebody who is just starting out your photography slash art book collection, I would really suggest um, this book. In fact, I would suggest any of um, Teshen's Tesh um, publication books, like I said, because they're affordable and they also provide high quality in, in, in content and also the high quality in book with the hardcover. So like I said, compared to other art books, the hardcover is not as thick, but it doesn't mean that it's any less quality. So definitely if you're somebody who wants to start an art collection, I would say look through um, Teshen's um, uh, publications collections first uh, before going into uh, more, maybe more expensive uh, books. But like I said, just because this book is cheaper or um, any book that's underneath this publication, it doesn't give it any less of a quality, right? So I know usually we think quality equals high price, but uh, in the case of uh, this pub um, publication company, that is not the case. Definitely, it is a lot more accessible in price and range. So yeah, if you want to start off an art collection, definitely start with these books. I kind of wish I knew about this company beforehand. I will definitely, definitely be buying more books for them. So there is still um, several minutes left in this um, flip through. So I'm just going to remain silent uh, until the end. So please enjoy. And let me know in the comments below if you had an opportunity, what are the top three spas, or at least even if it's just one, what are the, what are the spas that you would love to visit as you're flipping through the book? Which one do you think definitely catches your eye the most? Let me know in the comment below. below. But with that being said, I will just wait until the end and please enjoy the rest of the book.
and it is the end of the book thank you so much for staying until the end i really appreciate it may be sure to like and subscribe and comment below on what you thought about this book but with that being said have yourself a fantastic day and i'll see you in the next video bye for now